everyone I hope you guys miss me so I wasn't there on Monday because Dana and I switched because I honestly wanted to do it today because today is as people know and which will be our talk we're talking about World Cup first day so I recently became a very big fan of football I'll call it football because I alternate between calling football and soccer and it's my first time watching the World Cup knowing what's going on and knowing every team so that's pretty interesting for me also the whole city basically is celebrating because as you know in Toronto we have a very diverse community so it's little Italy, it's little Greek, Greek town I mean um little Portugal so on so there's gonna be a whole bunch of different celebrations around and I'm hoping that I can just like go to some because I think it needs to be really awesome I think just to kind of be in the moment and celebrate with people. Like Canada isn't in the World Cup and I'm sad for that. I hope someday we are and I hope I'm still here to like cheer it on. But for now I guess it's just the idea of just celebrating with everybody and kind of just getting into something. That's why I think I like it. So I don't have a particular favorite team at all. I know people are saying Brazil is going to win or Spain has the best chance. I'm not going for them because, you know, you can't always say things are going to happen because it is a game and in games there are ups and downs and shocks and, you know, upsets as some people would say. But I do like rooting for underdogs. Ultimate underdog I know everyone will say is New Zealand. I'm going for New Zealand. I don't have to get out of their group. I kind of wish and hope they do get out of the group because it'd be a great thing for them. So, New Zealand's kind of my, my, you know, my hoping team. Um, who else? I have a very soft spot for Germany, so I will be going for them. They, they're, Germany's kind of a, they're always there, but they're never at that point where, you know, they're number one. They're either number two or number three. But they're not number one, and I think this kind of this year is kind of going to be their number one year. You know, I honestly think the, whichever team wins is on is going to be a real big shock to who to the whole world. Because I don't think it's going to be a team that anyone even suspects of winning or even has in mind to win. So I'm hoping it's New Zealand. Yay, New Zealand! <laughs> so the World Cup is here. You have 32 nations, 64 games. 30 days and one winner. Who's it gonna be? I don't know. Nobody knows. We'll see you on July 11th. So people, get ready and see you on Monday.